Amen. Uh, good morning, everybody. Those that are out there in virtual land, uh, I uh, hope and pray that this nice, cool, rainy, snowy, wintry weather has uh, been okay with you. Myself, I love it. I love it. I, I, I like it. I like it. It's uh, it's nice and cool. You can breathe good and and uh, it, it just feels healthy. And, and it brings a different climax, you know, uh, on a, on the outside. And it's nice and gloomy. And a person like me, I like to roll up in that blanket and get on that sofa and that television is on. And man, that's a good feeling. Wrap up in that blanket and have a good time sleeping. Well, I'm going to say a prayer for you. Now, I pray that everybody is doing as well as can be expected out there. I want you to pray with me. And uh, we'll uh, just, if there's somebody that's sitting next to you on this morning, grab their hands and pray with them. Most gracious and everlasting God is again their Father. We come to you this morning. Being grateful and thankful to see another blessing and beautiful day. This morning, dear Father, if uh, you will please lend an ear to our humble cry this morning. We're praying, dear Father God, to you because, dear Master, you are the author and the finisher of all things, dear Father. There is nothing, dear Father, that is too great for you. There is nothing, dear Father, that is too small that for you, dear Master. Master, we just we just we just grateful this morning to have you as our God and thank you, Father God, for uh, we being your children this morning, dear Father. We know, dear Master, that 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 you will take care of us when we look back at our lives, dear Father, and how far we come, dear Master. We can't take any credit for ourselves, dear Father. We have to say that it's been you and you alone that has brought us thus far, dear Master. Master, we, 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 we know that we don't have any power to uh, change your day, dear Master. We don't have any power, dear Father, to, to, to take away illness, dear Father. We don't have that kind of power, dear Master, to make our uh, accident nearly miss us, dear Master. It's been you, dear God, has, that has taken care of us and brought us thus far, dear Master. We, 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 we're just grateful and we're thankful this morning. I, I don't know how to say thank you, dear Master, just to say, <laughs> I just say thank you. Thank you for the very breath of life. Thank you, God, that when I gave up, you gave me the energy to keep on one more day. Dear Master, thank you for watching over the children when we weren't there as parents to watch over them. Dear Master, thank you, dear God, for, 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 for watching us as we go in and out of our houses, as we go about our regular day activities, dear Master. For when we on the way traveling to work, dear Father, you watched over us that no hurt, harm, or danger came to us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master, for bringing us this far. Thank you, Father, for doing the pandemic, dear Master. It was tragic. It was bad. But Father God, it was also you in there. Your mercy was in there. Your grace was in there. So thank you, God, for being our God. There are special prayers, dear Master, special requests on this morning. Sister Burnett, dear Father God, bless her, dear Master. Help her, dear Father God, to keep holding on to your unchanging hand. No matter what, I'm holding on to God. No matter what, I'm holding on to God. 
I'm up one day and down the next, but I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. I know that he won't leave me, nor will he ever forsake me. He said it in his word. I'm holding on to what he told me. I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. Bless those, dear Father God, that 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 that, that ask for special prayers. Uh, Brother Bernard, I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how he's faring this morning, but uh, and he and his wife, Shauna, dear Father God, I, I pray for them, dear Master. And others, dear Father God, that that are of age, dear Master. And, and they don't move around as they used to. Uh, Brother Melvin, I'm praying for you, Brother Melvin. And I'm praying for you, Sister Dorothy. And I'm praying for you, Sister, 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 uh, 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 Sister, Sister Burnley. And I'm praying for you, uh, Sister Donaldson. I'm praying for you, Sister Donaldson. I'm praying for you, uh, Sister, uh, I, Sister Dillard, I'm praying for you, dear Master. I'm praying for, and if I didn't call your name, that don't mean that I'm not praying for you. Yeah. That don't mean that I'm not praying for you. I'm praying for all of the families, dear Master, this morning. All of them that sit, one sit in the back, one sit in the middle, one sit on the front, one other sit on the left side, other sit on the right side. I'm praying for all of us this morning because we all stand in the need of prayer this morning. We all stand in the need of prayer this morning. And I'm praying for you this morning. And I'm praying that God give you and God bless you and God hold you in the palm of his hands. He's a holding God. This I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We said amen. 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 The pastor will be with you shortly. Uh, he's in the back uh, convening and uh, he will be with you shortly. In the meantime, enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. And thank the, thank the production here. Bless the production.
Almighty for the blessings of a brand new year. Not because of who we are, but because of who God is. He's been a mighty good God, and he has blessed us to see a brand new year. I always say that the Lord is my shepherd. I know he's a shepherd because of all that has transpired and all that has happened. We are in a brand new year in spite of all the difficulties. And I'm just so mindful of, uh, of the Hill family. We've lost some loved ones and we have some that are ill. But yet God continues to bless and we are going to continue to pray to that end. We know that God can, know that He will, and we've got to trust Him. David a moment ago said, The Lord is my shepherd. Well, if the Lord is the shepherd, that means that He's allowed me to rise this morning from a slumbering sleep. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. Have a little something to eat on this morning. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of shelter over my head. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of transportation. The Lord is my shepherd. I am now present. I'm present in the year of 2021. Listening to the word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. Y'all right today out. I trust that you are, and I trust that even though it's snowing outside, and it's cold outside, that it's warm on the inside. Even when I was able to view the snow this morning, there were so many were not able to view the snow on this morning. So we're thankful to God for whatever he gives out, because he knows how to portion. If you just give me uh, a few minutes this morning and I am coming out of the book of Jonah. Jonah chapter is 3 and the verses are 4 through 10. Jonah chapter 3 and the verses are 4 through 10. If you have your personal copies, we ask that you follow us. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Get forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and they proclaimed a fast. Mm -hmm. And they put on sackcloth and from the greatest of them even unto the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh and he arose from his throne and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and he sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast hear the flock taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. And they cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn everyone from their from his evil way 
and from the violence that is in their hands. Verse 9. Who can tell if God will turn and away from his face and his anger that we perish not? Who can tell if God if he will turn and if God will repent and leave his anger and leave his fears that we perish not. And God saw their works and they turned from their evil way. God repented of the evil that he said that he would do unto them. And he did it not. Just for a few moments, I'd like to talk from a subject how do you change God's mind? How does one change God's mind? We know the story of Jonah. Yeah. Oh, give me a minute, I'll, I'll be there. Jonah was... <laughs> A man of God, and we know that he had a word from the Lord to go talk to Nineveh. But we live in a world where uh, there are many Ninevehs. Chaos and crime. COVID-19 seems to be at its highest point. The more God tries to get our attention, it looks like the more we fail. From the people's house to our house, we have tribalism, separation, losing the family values that all of us should have. We once had family values. Families would share one another. Right. Hold up one another. Communities was tight. Right. And now everything is just disassembled. Right. God sometimes gets angry. And when he gets angry, he'll let you know it. Yes. It's stuff going on now that have never happened in our history. Jonah, like us, sometimes is stubborn and hard-headed. All right. God tells him to do <laughs> what I want you to do, Jonah, and Jonah does what he wants to do. Okay. Never is like the USA. All kinds of bad stuff is going on. Okay. We know the story of Jonah. Right. And that's some good preaching up in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give my child. Yeah. <laughs> that's some good preaching up there. When we start talking about Jonah. And I think every person at one time or, or another, or every preacher, has preached about Jonah. This is a good story to, to tell. How Jonah disobeyed God. Jonah was sent to Nineveh, but he paid his way and got on a ship and, uh, to go in the opposite direction. Oh, that, that's, 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 that's a good preaching, right? Right, right up there. God tells Jonah, Jonah, you go this way, and Jonah says, I'll go my own way. Don't that sound like us? That's some good preaching right there. But I, I don't want to preach about that this morning. All right. God prepares a fish for, just for Jonah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he's on the ship. 
they have a little problem, a storm comes up. And they say, we got a stowaway down there. We got somebody sleeping down there in the bottom. So go down there and get it. They say, talk to your God. And they wind up casting lots. Oh, you know the story. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lot fell on Jonah and they, they threw Jonah out in the sea. Right, right. But they didn't know that God had already prepared a fish. Right. And he swallowed Jonah up, made the fish sick, threw him up. Jonah cleaned himself off and Go ran to Nineveh. Ran to Nineveh. To tell the minimum what God wanted him to tell him in the first place because this was the second time. Right. Let me stop right here. I want to uh, lay out some things for you before I, I, I actually get into the lesson because it comes to my mind. America, Dallas, Texas. How do you change God's mind? California, New York, Kansas, Oklahoma. How do you change God's mind? London, England. How do you, how do you go about changing God's mind? Well, I want to portray something here, and as I get into my lesson, uh, let me, uh, yes, sir, let me have that in my mind. I'm going to. I'll just bear with me just for a minute here. And let me have my <laughs> I want y'all to just understand who I am. Yeah. 
I'm trying to get the girl's attention. Yeah. I'm still trying to get the attention. Okay. So let me pull off my robe. Uh huh. Since I'm trying to get God's attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. There's people don't live in houses. Right. 
But God called you from the time child of life. When you have to suffer on a time child of life. Let me tell you something. It's in God's hands. So I got to get God's attention. What are you going to do, King? I'm going to strip myself down. Yeah, that's what he did. Now I'm sitting in ashes. Sackcloth. Yes. You know what sackcloth is? It's goat's hair. And it's coarse. Yeah. Rose back there. That's a rose. Rose back there. The gold is back there. Yeah. Everything is behind me. Yeah. God, I just want to get your attention. Yeah. I want more grace. Be humble. Yeah. You know what grace is? Grace is the favor that God has placed on me. Yeah. If you want more of it, just be humble. Not what I have, but look at what God has loaned me. Yeah, okay. That's it. Oh, I, oh, I live very well. No, God loaned you that. Yeah. That life. <gasps> Your air that you breathe, you know, God loaned you that. It don't belong to you. That's why he can take it. That's right. That's right. Preach what I'm saying. Yeah. How you get God's attention? Learn how to be humble. Put all that behind it. That's right. Learn how to use prayer. Yeah. I like something long too. <laughs> you don't pray, oh Lord. Let a cry come unto you. I'm crying. Bless us, have mercy on us. You, you, you're destroying the world. COVID is destroying the world. Lives are being lost. Right. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, loved ones, my children, all of that. Have mercy on us, Lord. Yeah. Mercy. Yeah. Uh, please, please. Hide your. Don't you hide your face from me? Yeah. Because you know what that means? When God turns his face from you, he's oh, not listening to you. That's right. <laughs> You're in trouble. Don't turn your face from me when I'm in trouble. Give me some attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I'll strip myself for all my pride. I got no pride, no more jealousy. Yeah. yeah. Just the other night, we stopped, the wife and I, and there was people walking up and down the street. Could you hear me stuff and just have a little something to eat? Yeah. And I come back to the front, and we were waiting yeah. for all order to be ready. And she said, my God. Yeah. I'm so thankful. I pray for them. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm thankful that I'm not in that shape. That, 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 that I don't have to stand out there right. and, and beg for a dollar. Right. Or, or beg for a slice of pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Incline your ear to me <laughs> in the day when I call and me speeding me. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? See, every once in a while, I know how we pray. Yeah. Sometimes we pray, Oh, Father, from the creation to the creation. From the east to the west. Yeah. Yeah. And north to the south. Yeah. No. Do you know what a prayer is? A prayer is just a, a request for help. Yeah. Uh, I just need some help. Sometimes you say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad spot right now. Yeah. You ever been in a bad spot? You, 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 you ever been in a spot where, you, where you're really bad? I mean, I, <laughs> and you feel like this. I really feel like I'm, I have to be in sack of the ashes. Oh. Yes, sir. And I need you to answer me speedily because I, I, I've left all of that. Every you don't give me, I've left all this behind. I ain't worried about this no more. I just need you to answer my prayer. Yes. Oh, even my shoes and, and my robe and my prayer. I've left all of that behind. Yes, sir. I just need to talk to you now. I just need to talk to you. Yeah. If you ever had that little quiet prayer with God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you better preach this morning. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. You ever had that little quiet prayer this morning? 
You, you know what you're trying to do? I'm trying to get God to change his mind about a situation. Yeah. Maybe it's about a member of the family. That's right. Maybe it's about financial stuff. Yeah. Maybe somebody's on the road. Maybe somebody's in the hospital. Right. Maybe somebody's on that deathbed. Whatever it is. Yes, sir. Use prayer. Answer me speedily. Yes. I've showed you my humility. Woo! And I ask it all over me. Yes. Where I've been sitting. Now just, just answer me. Then I have to use repentance. Right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell God. Yeah. God, I'm not going to do this again. Oh, okay. All right. I've been bad. Right. I've done some bad. But I'm not going to do that again. Right. And I'm repenting. Simply means that I'm changing. Yeah. I'm changing. Yeah, I, yeah. I did do that. Yeah, I stole. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah I did the other. But I, I'm repenting now. Right. I'm changing. And you know what? You know, you know, I like a different. You know, God said, I saw your works. Yeah. You, you, you know, y'all not follow me. Yes, Woo! It's just me preaching up here. God, I saw your works. What do you mean your work? I saw you when you pull off your shoes and your crown and your robe and your I saw all of that. And when you slip yourself down and you sit down in ashes with sackcloth, I saw all of that. So now I'm looking at your heart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at your heart, man. Yeah. You ain't got no more pride. No, no, no. Yeah. You can't, you can't force me out. I, I don't care. I am in a big cafeteria. Yes, sir. I'm going to thank God for my food. Lord, I thank you for my hamburger and my fresh fries and my ketchup and my diet coke. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Praise my yeah. Yeah. I'm not ashamed because the tables around me, nobody's thanking God for that hamburger and that fry <laughs> and that ketchup and that diet coke. And I'm going to tell him, I, I thank you. Yeah. Because I've <laughs> learned how to be humble. Yeah. Learn how to pray to him. Yeah. And I've learned how to repent. Mm. I ain't going to do it no more, God. That's right. <laughs> I am, you know what I'm saying? I, sometimes I do slip. Yeah. Yeah. Please, my thing. Yes. Sometimes I do slip. But you know what? Every time. Yeah, I turn around and I get right back on track. Because yeah. I'm sitting down in the ashes and the sackcloth. Mm -hmm. I'm as humble as I can be. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Do you know what God told them? Yes. God says, Can I come close to you? Yeah. Yes. In my rags, yes. in my sackcloth, yes. in my socks. He said, I saw your works. Yeah. You know what God said? Yeah. I yeah. repent. Yeah. But you better preach. God said, this is God talking. God said, I repented mm. of what I was going to do to you. Mm. Right, right. Now, no, no, y'all ain't catching this or not. Go ahead, sit somebody now. God said, I had to.
Thank Him for what He has done. Yes, Pray to Him. Yes, Lord, have mercy on us. Yes. And repent. Yeah. I'm going to just say, somebody said, you wouldn't do this on national TV. <laughs> Baby King, what you fit to do? You ain't going to do that, but everybody can see you then. Oh, holy messed up. Yeah. You know what? I don't give a fat rat. I'm trying to get in contact with God. Don't care. Because I know that he's going to send me a blessing. He's going to take the curse. Yes. Off of me. Yeah. When I've been weary all night, he's going to lift that for me. Yeah. When I wear it out for tomorrow's going to bring, he's going to lift that for me. Yeah. And said, I'm going to give you a blessing. Yeah. Because I changed, you changed my mind. That's it. Y'all hear about that? You changed my mind about you. Because right. I was going to mess you up. Yeah, you know, don't mess with me because I'm going to mess you up. Right. You know, I'm going to mess you up. You mess with me. And that's what God was saying. I was about to mess you up. Yeah. <laughs> but you open yourself, you pray, and you repent. Yeah. And I changed my I ain't going to mess you up now. Yeah. I'm going to actually help you. And I'm going to bless you. If you don't get anything else, I want you to know how to change God's mind. Say, I'm going to humble myself. I'm going to pray to Him. And I'm going to repent. And then God may turn that curse into a blessing. Y'all be blessed. And <laughs> We love you. Thank you, Father. Right on the battlefield, where I got to walk right in. 